What's going on, family? That's right, that's right, that's right. We're here. Back for another episode of your Monday Rendezvous. That's right. Welcome to Monday Quality Talks number 72. Uh, tonight, uh, I'm doing the show a little early. I'm pre-recording the show. Reason being that uh, my guest uh, is two hours ahead of us uh, for those who happen to be in Lisbon or in the UK. And... Um, let me not waste any time. But before I introduce the guest, let me first of all make sure that I welcome you accordingly. I hope that you start this week with the best of mood and energy. And even though things may not always be aligned as you want them to be, and things may look like all odds are against you, do remember that it is just a phase and it will get better. It will get better. There's no other way around it. You've got to stay strong. You've got to stay focused and know that it will get better. But it won't get better if you keep feeling sorry about yourself. All right? So with that being said, you already know what the show is about. Great conversation, laughters, seriousness, spirituality, music, culture, etc. And tonight, this afternoon, this morning, wherever you're located in the world watching this um, episode, my guest is a um, man that I've met through music and with whom I have uh, created a relationship that is to be qualified as brotherly and um, a brother from another, one who has welcomed me in with open heart and open arms the first time I met him in Greece, in Zakynthos, where he's currently based. Um, and uh, a man whose mother also treated me like a son um uh, let's just say that he amongst a few others are responsible for um the impact i have had in greece for quite a long time and we'll talk all about that you know um the rise and fall of bodhisattva in greece <laughs> and all of that you know well uh, but uh um uh without further ado man, let me bring my brother dimitri katsikiris the one and only the big boss the don data <laughs> what's going on brother <laughs> Hello, brother. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Happy to have you on the show. If there's uh, one person that I've I've always wanted to have um, honored accordingly, you're one of those uh, great souls that have uh, blessed my path as a musician, as a human being. And uh, you know, when you called me this morning and I called you back, you know, I was like, "Yo, how about I have you on the show today?" And you're like, "Oh, let's go. Let's do it." So here we are. Yeah, definitely, brother. It's my honor. You know that. Uh, thank you very much for your kind words. Uh, I, I'm shy a bit, you know. Don't be shy, man. I mean, you know. You, you, by the way, for those of you uh, who have any, 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 any um, uh, doubts, this man is by far one of the most cultured guy when it comes to music, arts. I mean, I say it and I mean it, and I know he doesn't like it. He's a man who's usually not in the forefront like that. By the way, it's very unusual, and I know he's doing it for me. So it's not in his character. He likes to be hidden. He doesn't like to be shown. But you see, I like to give flowers where flowers are due, and your flowers are long overdue, my brother. And, Thank you very much. Thank you know, you. We may not have a long show today, you know, because I also know that's not your format. It's not your space of comfort. But I just want you to know that I appreciate you and I love you, my brother, because you, you've you always been very honest. You've always been very straightforward, maybe stubborn, but we need that because I'm the same. And we, we 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 don't always agree on everything, but if there's one thing for sure, your heart is always in the right place. And and that's what you call a friendship. So, Demetrius, let's go. Let's get into it, man. Let me get into it because I want you know, I want you to feel comfortable. And so let's get it started. How did you how did you get into music? What was your what was your thing? How did I get it through music? Uh, it was from very, very young age. It's about eight or nine uh, years old. That's a, I hear, you know, many kinds of music in everywhere, TV, radio, you know, and I start uh, starting to, to tip some tapes with Pope, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from the era, Sade, Duran Duran, mm -hmm. Aha. No, things that are very mainstream and uh, 
But uh, this was a start, because uh, after it's opened uh, the whole big world, you know, music about everything. I tried to dig and listen. Everything passed from my hands and my ears. Uh, a little bit later, I've been a teenager in high school in Lyceum, and uh, my brother put me the first rock song that I heard was uh, from Bob Dylan, wow. Hurricane. Damn. You know, and then uh, I'm, I'm going to a rock skin, you know, classic rock, Led Zeppelin, uh, too many, many, many things of those years. Hard rock, heavy metal, even punk and hardcore, the Kennedys and the Crumbs. Damn. Uh, too, too many influence, you know. Big influence. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you are, and when you are a teenager, it fits you perfect, you know, it's set. You know all these things. What about what about bands like Nirvana? Uh, yeah, Metallica, yeah. I, I tell ACDC. you a story. I tell you a story about Nirvana. Was my first of Lyceum. Was uh, 16, uh, 15, 16 years old, and a friend brought a bought a record. Smell like Teen Spirits with a with a baby inside the pool and the and the hook with the with the money. And I and he told me. Oh, listen this, man. It's, it's the first things in Nirvana. And we put it out in the rock box and it uh, was a mess, you know. Yeah, that is uh, that we call it them grunge. It's not about rock on yeah, hard rock. Grunge, on, yeah, you know, yeah. A, 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 a kind of, uh, you know, one and only Kurt Cobain. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. And uh, after that of those days, when I get maybe 80 or 19 uh i'm tired about uh, you know whitey music mm -hmm. because you know in rock music and generally in that kind of styles when you write when you uh, write something and play it and some other take it and play it, they don't care if it's playing good or better they mm -hmm. said that he copied that mm -hmm. instead in black music mm -hmm. He, they can someone write one track and mm -hmm. play 100 people everybody gonna clap and gonna say bravo if it's good mm -hmm. that uh, kind of altruism doesn't mm -hmm. exist anyway this is um, no 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 but continue what do you mean by that develop okay. I, I mean, I mean that uh, I feeling that uh, wedding music you know all the world where, where are you talking about world music yeah of course yeah mm -hmm. Uh, but you know, you know, a lot of people don't like the word we world music. A lot of people find it to be pejorative and even almost insulting to all the great music that is available around the world. But I do understand the necessity to 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 bring everything under one one umbrella because otherwise it's just too complicated. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That's the reason. Not no, not offense, nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I mean, and, and uh, it wins about me. So you know. So from so from listening to grunge, rock, punk rock, all of those yeah, sounds. Yeah, I go I go to the other side, you know. But what is the trigger? What is the thing that got you to the other side? What is the thing that inspired that you? Me that uh, I want to hear something else. That all the things have I and that's it. Before. And so because you wanted yeah. to hear something else, you went and searched. Yeah, of course, I need to search all the time. Even now, I, I can, yeah. I'm boring. I want to double to for uh, Albania folklore. Uh, band to bargain techno it doesn't wow. matter music is the one your it proper digger matter. your original original digger <laughs> if someone wanna dig more than into a music he needs to try to study a little bit uh, pythagoras Pythagor. pythagoras is a great yeah? philosopher and uh, if you're gonna dig a little bit you're gonna see that uh, there is a, a big connection through space, music, sounds, uh, vibrations. Very interesting. Actually, by the way, it's true. Uh, uh, we, we, we went straight, in, straight into the conversation, which I love. So let's, let's, let's give people a bit of an understanding of uh, where you live. You live in Zakynthos, uh, yeah, very, I live in Zakynthos one of the I most beautiful Greece. island. Yes, it's a beautiful island in the, at the west side of Greece. Seven islands, we are one of seven, Zakynthos, a nice place to live. The rhythm of life is very human. It's a nice place, you know. I it's can testify. Big, we are 50,000 50, people. It's amazing, 50,000 people, right? And it's yeah, amazing. You have so many different kind of beaches, like rock, sand. 
uh, black sand. Is yeah, so exactly. <laughs> it's the nature. It's not from us. We are just uh, being a uh, guest over the nature, you exactly, know. Exactly, exactly. And you're very known for the turtles. You have giant yeah, turtles, right? Not, exactly. Oh, not giant. We have a careta careta, which is a kind of turtles mm -hmm. that uh, they like to uh, to our beaches and uh, get uh, move your, the eggs. Uh, your eggs, you know, yeah. and. Uh, yeah, and uh, from year to year, we are more uh, protective to them, you know. We understand mm -hmm. more about them and uh, we'll be better uh, we'll be better people. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So with that being said, so, okay, so so when you discovered, uh, so when you went into the uh, world music, how was your journey now into... First of all, it was, uh, was, was the boom of Afsi Jazz, 1992, 1993. Uh, Jazz, right? Yeah, that's jazz and generally Giles Peterson and all this wave, you know, talking loud, Browns would uh, blow up my mind, you know, it was an amazing thing for talking me. Loud, well, talking loud yeah, was a yeah. as well. Big, yeah, sure. big, 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 big things. Well, so so through the world music, that's how you discovered Giles Peterson and all these guys. Exactly, yeah. Uh, and I believe that he is the man who is responsible for many things in Europe because he collects mm -hmm. a lot of things all over the world and brings us to hear it, to know it. I'm very, very humble about that and thankful. As like too many, you know, people and uh, companies. Was that? Yeah, was, that was as it does. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't DJ yet. Okay, you were just a fan of the music. Yeah, I just a collector and, uh, you know, I didn't mm -hmm. want. But uh, after some uh, years, it my nearly 2001, 2002, I was 24, 25. You know, some people told me, oh, Dimitri, yo, go and come and play here. And I said, it's okay, guys. And start to, to play music in the beach bars, you know, where? many kinds. And uh, first of but all, it was... Uh, but where Amos were you? Club. Where, where, yeah. where? In which Amos city? Club in Vasilikos. Vasilikos place. It was an Amos Beach Bar, a very nice bar. Plays uh, amazing kind of music from... Uh, Tropicalia, Brazil, to soul of uh, Philadelphia, from Bob Marley to, I, I don't know, I don't know, Fever, whatever. Very, ecle very, ecle very eclectic. Exactly, only eclectic. Mm -hmm. From any kind of genres. Cumbia from Peru, disco from Colombia, too many things from uh, whatever. Just want to show to the guys and the people that uh, there are so many beautiful things that you can play in, in places and so in basically so they, but they knew that you were a guy that was into music that's why they're like dimitris come through let's let, you know and yeah and, yeah, yeah, and yeah like you. that yeah okay. they believe okay. in me because they like my taste at first of all you know mm -hmm. that okay. was, so, uh, and so then so how was that how was those beginnings did you start DJing with vinyls or with cds or cassettes no no with cds with the cds Okay. With, with, in, 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 with, in which year was that? 1990 what? No, no, no. It's, it's in the year 2000, I told you, I'm DJing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very, very late. Not okay. very, very. Some, some people starting from 15 and 16, you know. No, no, no. But I mean, but it doesn't matter. The, the, the culture was already there. So, okay, early 2000. And then? Yeah. And then uh, people like it, probably. Mm -hmm. oh, of course. And, uh, <laughs> And after that, try to play some clubs, you know, I starting to to make some small gigs, you know, in, in my spare time, because it's not my main job, this one, no. But uh, also, yes. And uh, uh, then after trying to, I, I play in many places, in beach bars, in coffee bars, you know, all the most uh, known places in the island. In Zakynthos, uh, huh? Yes, of course, Zakynthos. And then uh, I, I get more inside the clubbing, you know, not live, DJing and promoting. Mm -hmm. And uh, my first gig uh, in the island was with a guy that uh, I hear a truck one day in the truck stores. And uh, I said to myself, what's that? And I saw his body sattva. <laughs> Who's that guy? I said, hey, Boris Alva. With also with uh, Mr. V. Mm -hmm. And I hear that track and I said, that guy has something special. He's very unique in all these things, you know, that I place everywhere and hearing the same. That guy has something. He has something from it is very raw. 
that is ancestral, the peak, mm-hmm. but also very, very inspiring. Mm. Make it click. Do you know the say all the details? I can sell the details, but people get bored about that. No, it doesn't. No, we're here for that, brother. People, don't okay. worry about what people think. Just go ahead, man. No, no I'm saying the is. story. You know, I'm a storyteller. Tell the stories, now. man. Storytelling. This is what we love, man. This is what the okay. show is about. Go ahead, brother. Don't stop. And uh, yeah. we make it the first uh, event in Zakynthos, Greek, mm-hmm. and it was amazing. I met this guy. We fit. Yeah, we connected. Right I, rem- again, I still Zakynthos. remember very well. I, but however, I don't remember. I was landing in the afternoon. I remember we landed in the afternoon. Yes, it was late afternoon. You mean the first time because you have you've been here two or three times, you know? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. but the first time I came to Zakynthos because I had never been to Zakynthos before. I came to yeah. You know, Maybe you. you've been in Athens, Hulu, Vega. Your first time in Greece, or no? No, my first time in Greece was in Mykonos at uh, Cabo Paradiso with Louis. With Louis with Vega. Louis. Yes. I remember that, but uh, you know, uh, uh, was the first time. But uh, chop chop, you know. Maybe after that, I went to Greece. I'm I'm not completely sure. Maybe I went with um, who was the guy that used to do Louis bookings back in the days? This uh, not um, what's his name? DJ. Good, very good DJ as well. Younger guy, by the way, at the time. With with the black uh, with the long hair. Not long, not Angelo, not Angelo, because uh, Angelo was doing was with ah, coffee. We were talking about baseless. No, no, no. Baseless, of course, the baseless the team guys. Of, uh, you know, baseless was well in the void in Athens. You remember that night? Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. remember that. No, no, baseless. That you know, no, no, for sure. I remember baseless. No problem. But, um, but big shout out to them, by the way. Um, but, but uh, it's not baseless. It's um, man, he was doing a lot of bookings with Louis, man, back in the days. Anyway, I forgot. Ah, okay, uh, with with Louis. Yeah. Uh, Dino. Dino MFU was the was the, was, the, was the man with Louis, yeah. Dino MFU, MFU. And very, 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 but there was another guy. There was Dino, yes, I remember Dino MFU, but then there was another dude. Another guy, another one I can imagine now. Uh... The brown hair, dark brown hair. Ah, Dimitris. The... Dimitris Tantidis, aka I... Pilot. A thing, a young, nice looking guy, a black, who has a Timmy also, Timmy Registro. Yes, 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 yes. I think that's the guy. Stadidis, Dimitris. Okay, all right. Here we go. So uh, maybe with uh, through that through through that hookup, I might might have done Athens, but I'm not hundred percent sure. However, no, I, I, do, I, I do remember. Nobody, anyway. nobody. I do I, I do remember anyway that uh, you know they, this was a great era. This was a great era. I mean, it was. Um, of course. God, I mean, it, I remember. I still remember that first time I played. Um, uh, Louis flew me to Mykonos, and it was him um, doing that night at Cavo Paradiso. And then Satoshi Tomi came. I mean, we're talking about no, no, legends no, no, yeah, of the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Quentin yeah, yeah, yeah. Harris, Louis Vega, Satoshi Tomi, and then your your your, your humble humble the little body. boy Bodhisattva yeah, 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 on the yeah, side. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. my God! What a memorable night! What a memorable time! I, I believe that you get the feeling the moment now, right now, when you're talking about you. Yo, man. Yeah. You know, already then I knew that this was a moment to be marked in history that will go down in history. But I, very interesting, very interesting enough. Um, you know, we, we were not so developed into the social media, etc. back in the days. But I mean, a, a lineup like this um, now. Gosh, it's. Oh. I mean, it would be it would be a dream, but I think it's almost impossible to see that nowadays. Uh, or at least I'm not seeing any anything that looks like it. But uh, it was amazing, man, and it was amazing because it's also Cabo Paradiso, which is like you know in Mykonos. It's, it's a legendary you know. club. It's, it's the only lonely no Cabo there. Oh. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, and then from that to to meeting you uh, in Zakynthos, and when we went to Zakynthos, where we where did we play that time? That first time. First time we, we was in Barrage Club. It was in Barrage, right? Yeah, it was in Barrage. Barrage, uh, we, we, we played two times. Then we go and play in Coso the next year, I think, Casa Playa in the beach. Casa Park. Playa, yeah. So we it, was, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It was a very, very nice day where we, we, a lot of people enjoyed. It was uh, because ancestral in the, in the, with the with soul things and the stuff like that was amazing for the beach, you know. And it was the time, you know, also it's perfect. 
great moment. Yeah, it's, it's the right vibe for, the, for, 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 for beach clubs and sea yeah, and, I believe that and this and that. It's definitely... Uh... By the way, brother, do you have a little bit more light in your room for, for us more to see? Right? Yes, sorry about that, but perfect. I have some problem with... Uh... No, 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 you're perfect. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, thank um, you. I, I remember that Casa Playa, uh, you know, season we did. It was it was a great experience, man. Man, we've done so much. Honestly, I have to say that. Um, don't forget, don't forget. Mm -hmm. After the first time in Baraz, we started mm -hmm. doing uh, music sanctuary of frequencies of offering because that was two years in Stigma Radio. I remember. Yeah, uh, also well, I had forgotten have, now you reminded me. Also, you have me a guest in QH Radio NL when we was oh, with Ivan. God, yes, shout yes, out to yes, Ivan yes. Diaz. Big shout out to Ivan Diaz indeed. Oh God. Come on, man. You are bringing it back. Yeah, of course. I have. I have my mix cloud, you know, posted that one. It was very, very nice, very, very interesting. QH Radio NL doesn't exist anymore, I think. No, 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 it doesn't exist. Uh, he, I think he's now in, in, I heard, last time I heard about him, I think he's, uh, yeah, he's but in, it's in very Los quality Angeles radio, very quality radio. I watched, yeah, him. you know, he That's was really cool. trying to do something. I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, a lot of this was way before its time, you know, um, yeah, of and, course, and sometimes it's, it's, it's bad. unfortunate, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's bad, it's not good, yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I remember what to testify on that one, you know, sometimes being too early on your, uh, you know, and yeah, you it know, can, it there, can there, is a, there is a phrase, my friend, which is uh, going everywhere and also in uh, love. Mm -hmm. Tell me. It's not good to meet the perfect person in the bad moment. You know, I mean that... Uh, okay. It's all about timing. True. 100%. 100%. You know, if you're not, if you're not ready to meet the right person... You won't know how to appreciate it. If you're ready to, to do the right moves, if you're ready to do that, if you are, you know, it fit in everything, I believe. But that comes with experience and it comes with time. Unfortunately, we don't know these things until we experience. You only know how to think like that when you've had the experience. So it makes it makes absolute sense what you're saying. And to even add to what you're saying, I think that, you know, in the beginning, I was, I was, I was talking about the rise and fall of Bodhisattva in Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's very interesting because we had a conversation about it earlier and you were telling me about the fact that, you know, I had changed my sound. And, you know, the funny, the, the interesting thing for me as an artist, I've never felt like I, ch I changed my, I may, I may have definitely evolved musically, but my core never changed. And I felt, and I think that's, that's why I think there was a, there was a, there was a disruption, even not in, only in Greece. I think there was a whole phase uh right before i released the my second album uh in tribute to my father in 2015 if you remember around 2013 2014 things just like switched completely 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 because musically you know i i, I was starting to to feel like exploring different things different things and i think um you know the fans at first people are not going to be open to it they're going to you know they're going to fight back push back and so on and so forth. And um, and um, what would you say in your experience um, has been the evolution of the sound of Ancestral Soul Afro House in Greece from, you know, uh, my time playing there almost five, six times every summer um, to also, you know, uh, the presence of, you know, guys like Black Coffee, because at the end of the day, people tend to forget. Uh, Black Coffee was big this side of the world, but it was nothing compared to Greece. Greece was very early on before any countries. The Greeks were very, 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 very early on catching the wave. When I hear something about Greece and specifically Zykynthos about music influence. Tell In me. 1999, a lot of our tourists was from the UK. And then was Hacienda starting the movement of Manchester. Mm. So, so the guys from there, they run and listen to things. Came first here in Zakynthos or Rhodos, not the Athens on the major series. So we got very early involved, and uh, we have uh, uh, too too many sounds. You know, Manchester, Happy Mondays, uh, Charlatans, Ship Dragons. Uh, you know what is? 
The movie will not here after one year. You, and you, 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 you know, you don't understand. This show is going to please so many people. You, you're bringing back memories for a lot of people, man. Man, I was in the club and, uh, and, uh, and dancing uh, Hallelujah, Happy Monday as well for a mix of uh, Paul Ockenfold remix. <laughs> Hallelujah, put it to these guys. Damn, man. Yeah, it's okay. So, so, so then it goes that early. Er, oh, that, yes. We're, that talking about the, we're talking about the, the Afro things in Greece uh, between yeah, them. Afro house, etc. Soul, etc. I just because, make a small Kit Kat, <laughs> but it's very no, 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 but it's extremely important that you're mentioning that because it gives context to why Zakynthos is such an important island, uh, in Greece alongside Definitely Mykonos important. because and people also, don't people don't always connect, people always think about Mykonos, brother. brother. There is mm. a club, Barrage Club. Which, Barrage Club, huh? Yes, which uh, I've been the first time was I was uh, 15, 16. I was mm. in the last uh, years of, uh, of the school, of Lithium. That, that day, Barrage plays uh, amazing underground music, but in rock style. MC5, Fuzz Stones, uh, uh, Cramps, uh, New Order, Smiths. All this, you know, underground new wave things was underground then, still underground till now. But changes music and styles. Was, then was rock music, now was dance floor music more. You know what I mean? But wow. in, 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 every, in, every, in, in every phase was to the underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the underground was definitely having its, its it, celebration. It doesn't, matter. it doesn't matter what kind of music it plays. It has to be underground. It has to be underground and with meanings. And uh, thanks to this, we have uh, all these guests and visitors to, to bring us the music, their sounds. Their but views. let me ask you a question. You know, in the beginning, you mentioned that, you know, you were influenced by the sounds of Duran Duran, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which were all commercial sounds, right? But with, yeah, with but if you sound. listen, but if you listen later, you understand what is commercial. You can be commercial, but we can, you can have quality. This is very difficult, but sometimes happens, brother. That's the Guinness. Yes. That's the fucking point. Yeah, I know that. I know that you got me back in the, our private conversation. Uh, you know, but it's okay. This show, this show is all about transparency. I love because you know me, man. I, 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 I'm very, you know, I'm as transparent as, as I can potentially be. In and, and, and in particular, when we talk about these things, because I think that a lot of people have have a tendency to lie about things and not be honest but listen something i give you an, and something and some of the paradigm go ahead when i hear first time the class the class band uh rock in the casbah you know then it, it was a hit on this time and uh, and hit it every day every time in every club in everywhere mm. there is a time that i said that i cannot please my god i cannot hear class rock in the casbah anymore then after 30 years, I put again Rock in the Casbah in YouTube and listening and I hear something different. And I hear some guitars and some bass and some things that I never can watch because I was very young. You know, when you get older and your ears has uh, exercise with the music sounds, you're going to appreciate more of the things, brother, definitely. So, that, so, so I guess you're trying to say that if you're making a parallel to Bodhisattva. Oh, not to make I said that generally. It's not about... Before was parallel. It's not a parallel. No, no, no. no not saying like, about Bodhisattva. Make, make, it, make it a parallel now. Because I, I, I think it's important. But I think it's not about Bodhisattva. But I think that there was... I think that Greece dominated, you know, dominated the, 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 the Europe. It dominated Europe in terms of how it embraced Afro House and how it really was leading the pack, right? Um, then I think you had Holland, Portugal. So Greece, Holland, Portugal. France was very timid. It took some time for France to get into it. But definitely the leaders were Greece, Holland, and Portugal. Greece it's first. Very, but, but, but just to know that, we were talking about Barrage before. It's very, very, it's very, very hard to, to keep underground music and uh, bring guests and doing things, you know, because a lot of costs, people support more mainstream teams, you know. Uh, 
the club needs to have a party with Italian mainstream. Yes, because it has to be good and bring the other. But you what know, do you mean by what do you mean by Italian mainstream? Because, but you're talking about now, because back in the days, it wasn't so much about Italian mainstream. I think if... now it, now there is some days that the club needs has a mainstream and a big open events. You know, mm -hmm. with mainstream music, and not so you know quality specifically. Mm -hmm. But those days are very good about uh, the economics of the club, and then they yeah, of course because you got to make as they a club, have, they have a back and they provide uh, to some other more risky things, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, which uh, which I think is a good balance. Because, it's it's yeah, a good yeah, balance. Yeah. But no, we no, no. But le, but but let's 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 keep things time wise. What is your experience of what was okay? You you, you first time you listen to Afro House, you listen to, you discover it through my son or ancestral soul. Bodhisattva is the introduction now. From there, obviously, you know, being the, the, the digger that you are, you start, obviously, it was at the time of Aphrodisia MP3, remember? <laughs> um, we talk, Dimitris earlier spoke about Traxos. Traxos is a very known uh, platform for selling DJ, uh, music for DJs and uh, uh, was one of the first of its kind. Uh, probably around the same time as Beatport, uh, it came out. And then you also had uh, uh, around those time, around those, uh, those, those this period in time, there was um, an other platform from South Africa called Aphrodisia MP3, I think, uh, which you know got um, well, I guess it bankrupt or something happened, but yeah, it's no longer working. Which was really like doing a lot of very refined Afrocentric house music. So okay, so let's go back to Zakintos and and, and Greece in general, according to your experience, because I remember that when I was there, we were among some of the pioneers, not the pioneers, but among some of the early guys in that sound to be invited in Greece. You know, obviously before us was Louis, you know, Timmy Regisford, uh, you name them, all the legends, who were already playing the Latin house sound or the more, you know, so there was an opening. However, Afro House has really taken some time before it really entered. Who would you agree that the, the and, and and we gotta at the end of the day um, look at this perspective? Would you agree that I, the arrival of a guy like, for example, Black Coffee, with Superman, for example, or Trip to Lyon, tracks like that, it really brought that movement and that sound to a much more, as much as it was underground, but it made it commercial. Yeah, more pop. Because more, I okay, think more Black pop. Coffee yes. Now, uh, for me, Black Coffee now it's a pop star. In Africa. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yes, he is, he is. But I mean, if you're looking at just back then, the, because we all had different sounds, we all brought different definitely, flavors. Definitely. But definitely. I think that I think that the movement really became big uh, when he then, entered then, Greece. Then, 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 yes. Yeah. Then was the the explosion, the explosion, you know. So what time? What what time are we talking about? Which year was that? And what time are we talking about? Two thousand eight. 2009. Yeah. 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 2010? No, those two, three years was all the situation, you know. It was time to, 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 to yeah, the, the, this, this was the time of the rise of that sound. So, okay, 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013, we start to see that things are starting to slow down a little bit. Yes. I think people uh, get a little bit bored. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it was the same thing, you know, after that, uh, there is uh, one time that uh, if you hear this and that was uh, nearly the same. Mm -hmm. Changes cannot uh, provide something new at your ear, something in your sound. Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. It got I make an example now. I, I, I'm gonna make an example now. I, I'm watching one guy in uh, in Africa, which the name is FKA Mas. Yeah, from South Africa. Yeah, very okay. very good producer. That guy, God, that guy has the one unique thing, one unique in 109, 106, 112 BPM Afro style that called yeah, him yeah. glitch. I don't say mm -hmm. glitch, but I say that. Yeah. Uh, it's a very, very nice style. He uses reference of that Berlin sound from back in the early 2000s. Exactly. You know, the that, and... Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that is interesting to my ears. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. And all the other productions tend to move in the progressive. 
Yeah. Afro deep and progressive because progressive can move through people that they don't know about it, but they know about it how to move in the beat. Yeah, which is true because I, I'm a big fan of FK Mash Productions. Um, no, I mean, it, I mean, I mean that's something very... different. No, no, of course it's different. But if I, if you were to ask me, the complexity of his productions is something that seduces my ears. But at the same time, I also understand that the Afro house is becoming more Afro tech, Afro almost. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, no, it's Afro tech and the Middle What do you say? What do you say? Trends. Progressive, progressive. It's becoming progressive. more progressive. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I it's agree. Too, it's difficult to categorize because all the things and productions has too many influence of everything. You know. True. You but guys, yeah. But bro, yeah, I will tell you. Sometimes I'm hearing some tracks that are supposedly now Afro house because I can tell you. I remember. Man, man, incredible, incredible how people change, <laughs> uh, change clothes when whenever it's suited. I remember when we were starting with Afro House, everybody was looking at us like we were fucking crazy. Like, you know, Afro what? What is Afro? Now, what is ancestral? Who's ancestral? Who the fucking body is Sattva? Exactly. Now, well, they still say who the fuck is body Sattva. They no, 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 no. You know that that, that a, lot, a, a lot of them. No, no, no. no but no, a lot no, of them no, still no. think they don't act like they don't know who body Sattva is. But that's I cannot okay. believe that. Trust me, you'd be surprised. I'm telling you, it's very I'm not saying that the, it's someone of the gods of Olympus, but it, I believe he's an artist. <laughs> now, those years, uh, you should know him, like it or not. Hey, you know, like it you or should, not, right? You should know him, just know him. That's it, you know, but it's okay. I know, I know many people and artists that I don't, uh, I, I'm not into their style, but I know them. Exactly. Well, we all do, right? But, you know, this new generation, this new era is a bit strange. But with that being said, now you see everybody and their mama calling themselves Afro House, Afro House, Afro House, Afro House. No, if you take like an Afro House play. track, sorry, if you take an Afro House track from 2010, from the same list of the provider who brings the music, and Afro House now, it's not some of the, some one of those is not Afro House. At all, <laughs> I agree. That, some of these tracks are like I'm like guys, this is techno. This is not Afro House. Exactly. Techno with, a, techno with the Afro influences. Okay, maybe, maybe, and and, and, and it can be that. And also, know, don't be, don't be, don't begin to involve the, the techno all like a salad. There is a European techno, and there is Detroit techno. Exactly. For me, for my humble opinion, Detroit techno, Muriman, uh, Delano Smith, Carl Craig. Uh, Carl Craig, all those guys from Detroit, Andres, te Detroit techno has jazz. It's jazz. 100%. I agree. Instead of European techno, that is industrial motor. Very, very, very. I agree with you. It's they funny because you, you, if you listen to a guy like Green Velvet, for example, and all this kind of guy, their sound is a bit more industrial. I mean, it has a weird mix of industrial and, the, and, and that jazzy feeling that you're talking about. Detroit is jazz. And but Detroit and, is and, jazz. And, and sure. Berlin is industrial. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. But there is still like if you listen to you know the guy remember the eras of poker flat, you know uh, recordings you know um, Steve Berg, uh, Anya Schneider, uh, man, so many great 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 producers and DJs. And for me, these guys didn't probably realize, but they were already producing some sort of Afro tech before its time. You know, there's a track from Anya Schneider that I have. I don't know. I have to look it up, but. Man, if you play this track in an Afro house set, it's it's yeah, it's a big time track and it's it has the African element to it. Definitely, uh, uh, blah blah. Africa is the motherland. They start 100%. everything from there. Hundred percent, hundred percent. They start everything from there. Yeah. We, we're starting to 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 hit the bones in the rock and the and the skin of the of the primitive. Yes. And go to now in 2023 with future beats. Yeah. But all the mind, all the ingredients start from the motherland. 100%. Talking about that, talking about, you know, beginning of things um, and the evolution of sounds. Um, what are you listening to at the moment that, you know, is really moving you in terms of, is it new? Are you listening to new music, old stuff? Are you Everything. discovering new things? What, I, is, I, what are you listening to at the moment? It depends from the time. At the moment, okay. 
Let's let's say if you if you if you feel depressed, what do you listen to? Who's the artist you're listening to? Jan Genelik. Who? Jan Genelik. Jan Genelik? Yes. Where is he from? His place is from Germany. Plays uh, modular sounds. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about... I'm listening uh, Buzu Bazu. Okay, it's, Buzu uh, Bazu. German duo. Yeah, yeah. They are my favorite. I've, uh, I've, I've loved them. Buzu that Bazu. kind of sound. Buzu yeah, Bazu. Yeah, yeah. Now they yeah. have a new project, uh, Piloton. Mm -hmm. Okay, they, they are, do. Okay. They do their own, uh, their own label. He used to be in the Apollo Records. Yeah, then my favorite dub. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely that dub. Yeah, it's like uh, of, you know, it's like that, that dub tribe or that French dub connection. What was the name of this? There was a bunch of them doing quite very very nice dub actually. Um, yeah, with all these great compilations, I remember them. You know, Sometimes, DJ Cam. Uh, yeah, 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 DJ Cam. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I like to hear basic channels, Volvo Lonsvald. You know, it depends about the mood. You know. Mm. Sometimes Chet Baker, a lovely guy, the cool of Prince from California, is one of them. Uh, Miles Davis respect him as a white guy. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends from the mood. Brazil, I, I love them. Yeah, last year I was very, very, very lucky and see live Azimuth in Baraklard live. Oh uh, yes, 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 yes. Before, before now, we uh, before we we say goodbye to Ivan Mamao Conti, I was very lucky. To meet him and uh, to say my compliments and my respect, because Azimuth was a big influence for my music. Yeah, man, we we lost another great one this year, definitely. Yeah, definitely. every time, you know, it happens. You know, that's life. We cannot avoid that. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, I won't... Bro. <laughs> life is death, man. Death is part like, of life. Life is a circle. I told you, plus minus into a cycle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I, but sometimes you know it's um it's difficult to see things that uh, um under such a strict vision which is plus and minus it's like sometimes you want to see things in between in the middle it's like okay maybe it's you know now we have a black scared. we have a black and white but in the middle there is an uh, for a large spectrum yes. exactly of course that is also in minus and plus true. Inside but, of them, there is a big phasma of uh, subcategories. Well, but now, you know, everything is politicized. So when you say there's a plus, so who's the plus, who's the minus? You know, people politicize it everything. It depends at the angle. It depends at the angle that you see the things. Mm. In everything. Makes sense. You know. Makes sense. You're right. It's a, it's a question of, yeah, perspectives. Perspectives definitely say a lot. Uh, if you born uh, a billionaire, we have one angle of things. If you're born in some very poor favela without a warrior, you have a different angle. Absolutely. That's true. Everything is slack. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm born in Greece and I have these things bad or good and someone born in Africa and they, they don't have a warrior to drink. Mm -hmm. But let's not, but let's actually be real. Even in Greece, if you're talking, it's all perspective. Because even in certain areas in Greece, people don't have enough. Yeah, don't definitely, have the bare definitely, minimum. definitely. Yes, because Greece is the part of the European Union, and uh, no, things in Greece is very tough. Also, absolutely. I believe then, it's globally, brother. Things yeah, no, it is. It is. But I mean, you guys were hit with this whole crisis that you guys had, you know, in Greece, uh, man. Uh, with the European Union and uh, all the devaluation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, it was. Uh, you know, you're gonna hear with two, two, two very, very uh, interesting things about Greece. Yes, we took money from European Union. We lent money. We used to in the bad ways the money. We we aren't do good things with the money. We eat the money, of course. But also European Union tried to to lend them to lend us the money for voting their products. Many years ago, I cannot have a Mercedes and BMW because I, not, I can't afford it. Uh, sometime, 10 years before, 15 years before, uh, banks give us a loan without to check if we had to pay it back, to go vacation, to take cars, to everything. 
It's very complicated matter, brother. Yes, we took money from European Union. We didn't spend uh, wisely. But also, they want to give us the money, to lend the money, because... You got to, yeah, it's a stimulate as well. Yeah, it's a vicious cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, did you, um, how did you see that impacting the nightlife, this whole couple of Definitely. years? Definitely. Well, yeah, of course, they impact it because the people don't have the same money that you have before to spend it for a drinks. Imagine mm -hmm. here now, uh, in a Saturday night in Greece, and in, in the popular nightlife, Zakynthos, you are with a girlfriend and you need... Uh, go for something to eat you need a hundred euro just to go out with a girlfriend to eat and some drinks Damn. and then you go to the supermarket take some beers go out of the club and stay there and it is fine I mean, generally more or less everything is also yes it's the same way in the same way you don't have money for this and don't you have money for everything or nightlife or whatever and also it's difficult to bring the guest and you know because you maybe give, have a gig in the us and things is good and you pay the same money there you cannot have it in greece the same money i mean i mean so you so what you, what you're saying is that it is more now difficult to even fly international artists to greece most After of the crisis. yeah de de definitely and if, uh, from us is the more important because we wait the clubs waiting you know all the big festival to to go gathering all the artists from all over the world and then uh, after the days before or back spread near you know greece italy interesting you know how it is brother i do which is very interesting because what you said because it it, it, it has become an economy of only the stronger survive and the stronger doesn't always mean the best the best the better or the best but it's the stronger it's the big lineup it's the big djs da, da, da. and yet you have like you, you you'd have like more underground djs who are still who are also excellent but they don't get the gigs even though they don't charge as much money but because the clubs also want to say okay we want to capitalize and bring a big name make a lot of money and then this way we don't have to worry about you know so, so, so the, the, the club owners are, are less willing to risk as well for more underground or more qualitative sound. We are lucky that we have uh, that uh, guy, Babis. You meet him, Babi Muzaki. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, and, he, and he and he uh, still still saw those years and uh, try to do an uh, underground event. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, I like mean, it really means yeah, a lot. Like, uh, shout out to Babis. Definitely. And the people of Baraz and all these guys here in the island, DJs and everyone who is involved with these things that we like. Yeah, you know, it's important to give them as well their flowers because I think that, you know, uh, to be um, a resistant of change that eventually will lead, change is eventually in inevitable, but certain things should change for the better or you need to find out a way to make it work for you. And the way we think the move, the, the, the industry changing, I mean, the way personally, I'm seeing the industry changing. It's, it's scary. I mean, people are no, people don't have a word anymore. If you say something to someone, it doesn't mean much anymore. Uh, commitment to something doesn't mean much anymore. Um, people come back on their words. People change what they say. People... Like, there's no, like, owning, hey, you know, I fucked up, I'm sorry. There's no more of that. You know, it's your fault. It's always someone else's fault. It's never... I have a kind of a values crisis. We have a massive value crisis in the music industry. Globally, we're in the music industry, which has always been a world filled with a lot of fucking sharks and bitches and fucking pieces of shit. But there's also good people in this industry. Definitely. And people with value and people are trying to do definitely, things well. Definitely. It's harder for them. If nowadays you're a backstabber, you're a shark, and you are a, a, a liar in some way, shape, or form, you have better, you know, you, you actually survive better, which but is maybe, weird. Maybe there are karma to do that in this life, to be the, the people that they, they, they keep fighting. Who? Those people that is against, you know, all these popular the commercial things and trying to be underground, you know. Because the thing is that I don't have anything against commercialism and I don't have anything against pop 
popular sounds or anything like that. The problem is there's, there's got to be a balance. And the problem is that the balance is, is very difficult to achieve because even us, we are not strong enough. Because remember, if you analyze well our sound, our industry, and the evolution of things, look at what we just shared. Literally, you said 2007, 2008, 2010. This is how, this is, we are still at the baby steps of this music evolution, Afro House, etc. And already you can see politics, you can see, um, you can see politics, you can see all sorts of uh, manipulation taking places. You can see all sorts of um, games being, 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 being practiced. But you know what's, what's sad is that in the end, as you just said, it, it, it's a waste of time because we are not focusing on the essential, which is art. You know, it's okay. Bring bring all the big of the big artists. That's amazing. They also need work. But understand that you you, you cannot just um, expect those artists to stay big forever. There's going to be a next wave. And if you're not smart enough to observe who's going to be the next guys, it's like football players. The talents cannot stay to all the top. Of and that's the problem. And the guys who are on top of the game right now and who have been on top of the game, a lot of them, I understand it's car city mentality. They know it. They're not, they're, they're like football players. They know they don't have much time. And for those who have long careers, it's okay. But I mean, how many people can pretend to be, you know, the likes of Louis Vega, Timmy Regis Ford, you know, uh, Ron Trent or Kenny Dope or some of these legends, you know, who are still when they're 50 plus years old, still DJing, still making those kind of big caches. You know, there not many DJs can pretend to do that anymore. I saw, I saw a gig of Kenny Chandler, which plays with Bob yeah. Beans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kerry Chandler is one of them, you know, big, 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 I mean, big legends. And, and, and they deserve the money they're getting paid for. I mean, because they bring forth the experience. So definitely they deserve that. But now look at, you know, even, even, even us, in our generation, the 40, the 40, the 40 and plus, like we are, we are already considered by this new generation to come like the old guys. Whereas for me, back in my days, when I was talking to the guys who were 40 years old, they were not old to me. They were like just, you know, more experienced, but there was respect. There was, you know, exchange. There was, there was openness. We were connecting. There was respect. Values crisis, values crisis, values That's crisis. That's what it is, brother. It's values. And it's so sad, man. It's so sad because I see a lot of these young, 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 young bloods coming and they have this like, they come and they are a bit disrespectful. Like, yeah, yeah, like this one kid sent me, uh, well, I don't know if he's a kid or a grown man, but yeah. you know, for me, I find it to be ridiculous. I mean, hey, um, Bodhisattva, here's my new track. Listen to it and let me know what you think. <laughs> like, like, I and understand. You, you need to, to ask why. Ask him why you don't even say hello. You don't present yourself, and then you ask him, "Yes, my uh, no, no, my friend, or something." Why? <laughs> you want to do it, but then sometimes I'm just like, you know what? It's okay, you know. You know the way that you approach everyone. It's it's it has to be proper. proper. It has to be, man. It has to be. I because agree. Because approaching people, it's it's uh, it's when you approach people, you need to respect. The man, the woman, anyone which is behind, in front of you. Yes. Hello, sir. I'm very, I'm fan of you. I like your music. Well done. I have something to show you if you have time to listening. It's about kindness. It's not about ego, less or more. At all. I agree. It's I about agree. personality, whatever job you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's in every job you're doing, uh, you're taking back your personality. You are good people, you are kind people, you are good man, you are kind woman. Okay, give give love, take yes, kindness, respect. That's Honestly, values. Exactly. If you exactly. have it or not. But if you don't have it, you have to learn because if you but and eventually you know. If even if you don't learn, believe me, life gonna learn you. <laughs> For sure, life is definitely gonna like, yeah, you will learn from it. He knows better you. than us, for us. Ooh, yes. Even if you don't think that is absolutely true. If you don't think that it is, it's absolutely true. Life definitely knows better. Yeah, I agree, brother. I agree. And so, Dimitris, and what do you, um, 
what, what do you see the future holds for what we're doing? Do you see? Do you see? Do you, do you, let me ask you a question. Let me yeah. be more precise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Please. safe, according to your perspective? Because you're both in the music, but you're also a fan of the music. So I'm asking the two personalities in you, right? Is it safe to be a musician and a DJ nowadays? As a fan? Or... Okay. Is it safe to be a DJ nowadays? It's very, it... very difficult to play the music that you want. You need to play that the club wants. It's, that's it's always been, like... But that's always been the case, though, don't you think? Can you ask me again? Sorry. That's always been the case. Of course, always been the case, but uh, it's uh, for me, it's like a theater. You have the artist play the music, show you, you like it or not. Have you next it. time, third, fourth or fifth or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, I'm not going to theater and say to the actor, say that, say, say this, yeah. say that. No, going, listening, like it or not. Not discover say, the not, not say this uh, acting, say that, that word. No. Nobody yeah. can even uh, over you and say, to you, please, Mr. Bodhisattva, you, you can play this or that. I mean, <laughs> generally, as a club, play this kind of music. And then also, individual, someone told you that, you know, it's very difficult. Um, I believe most of the people that uh, in uh, involving music industry generally it has two or three jobs yeah it's very very difficult you don't know yeah there's the struggle you know the struggle is real and every kind of crisis uh, has problems in all kind of jobs and uh, whatever you so, know. so 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 okay I know you're well versed into economics and stuff like that. You're you're interested with these things, geopolitics and so on and so forth. It's economy, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Do you think that the current state of the world is making it worse for artists, DJs in general, or it is a, it is making it you know in such a way that it's now cleaning? Who are the strongest and who are the weakest and the weakest disappear and the strongest? I think it, I think I believe it happens both. I there agree. is there is some cleaning and there is some Yeah. I agree. Both. It happens both. Which is very weird, huh? It's very weird, but it happens. Sometimes they say you have two or three streams together. Incredible. I feel it like that, like you, definitely. No, guys, we didn't talking about before to have an agreement and uh, we just no, we... no, 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 because you know, <laughs> we do we do bump head a lot. Dimitris and I we have we, Dimitris, we, we and I we bump head a lot, but you know um, when we but we we always do it with respect and there's so much love, man, and so this means that if this is happening at the same time, if but this why all the time? Why all the time? I feel younger than you because you are a big name and I'm not, and I'm feel younger. That makes me feel younger. I think have, I think the weight of my or carrying my big name is making me look older. But yes, you are. But yet you are older than me. No, no, and no. And by no, the no. way, and by the way, it is interesting to say that. about market. Our market value, you know. No market value. You is, are the big name. I'm the small name, but me makes me feel younger. So. Yo, you know what? It's interesting, right? Because if you think about it, if you actually think about it, you 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 I'm you've made that comment before, but. I'm, I'm actually comfortable. I used to not be fully comfortable with it back, back then, but now I understand. It's very interesting. It's very interesting how a lot of my older, um, older brothers um, always call me old men. You know, I guess you know we know the secrets. You know, we hold the secret to that, to that, to that, uh, to that uh, specific appellation. But, but with that being said. I believe that big name, small name is all relative. A big name, what is a big name? Yeah, a big name, and, 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 and that's not to take away from the merit of, a, of get somebody knowing. who's accomplished. Get knowing, people get knowing, not, I mean, that kind of big name. You understand? So it's like, even if you are, let's say, if you know, if you sit down next to Stevie Wonder tonight and have a conversation with Stevie Wonder, 
Maybe it, Stevie Wonder was very simple. I didn't I didn't say about that. I said about the image of the people that No, but that's my point. No, 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 but listen, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm, sorry, coming, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm joining your point. I'm joining your point. Um I believe I believe you would have the most uplifting conversation with someone like Stevie Wonder because somebody who's big, somebody who's influential and powerful doesn't have to act in a in in such ways. You can just be comfortable in your skin. People who are not always 100% comfortable in their skin have to they have to do more, they have to act more, they have to do there's no need for that. Because in the end let's give an example. Somebody you are at the store, you're about to put your 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 uh your groceries on the on the map. And uh, the lady, the, 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 there's a lady um, uh, that, or some guy passes right before you and start putting your stuff. Yeah. You can be mad about it. But the energy I'm going to waste on this matter is not worth it. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. Okay. You wanted Sorry. to go first. Okay. You could have just said, you know, I would have let you pass. And the person feels offended because you're pointing at them the fact that, hey, you know, you just have to speak. You just have to ask. It's that simple, and I can, I'm at I'm at liberty to say yes or no. It's that simple. But if you're going back to what you were talking about, this, the humility conversation is very interesting because um, you know if you are if you are thinking about guys like you know the, the big legends, you know the big legends like uh, Stevie, you know I mean let's not go far, you know sit down with Oshun Lade. I mean you're gonna have some of the most amazing conversations ever, you know, you know, uh, Papa O, Papa O, Papa O, you know, uh, him, so many others, man. I mean, there's so many legends. And actually, as a matter of fact, that's my point. There are, you know, there's the big names that you see, guys like us, and there's the big names that you don't see, guys like yourself and many others, because you're also a big name in your own way. All right, this funny, funny. Give Shea Candy for me. She's very cute. She's very cute. But um, you see, that's my point. It's like there is, we all are lions in our territories. And and as long as we understand and respect that, everything's going to be fine. And that's why you also want to make sure you never disrespect somebody intentionally. Disrespect. Because you never know. Who that person is, and like, I'm not saying that you should be like, oh, you should walk on eggs. If somebody no, 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 disrespects no, 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 no. you, the others, okay, no, it's okay. We have, not uh, one way or the other. Mm. We can be in the middle, you know, yeah. definitely. Not be a ball licker. Exactly. The, it's know? different to be kind than a ball licker. Exactly. It's that easy. It's that simple. But people don't know how to make the difference sometimes. It's their problem, but we can help if we, they ask for us. <laughs> when was the last time you had a fight, Dimitris? Fight? Ah. I, ne I can't even remember. I don't fight. You never fight? You, did you kill. ever fight Only in your life? No fight, I'm just killing. <laughs> Do you like martial arts? Do you like to watch bo uh, you know, boxing? Uh, yes, I like. I like sports. I like soccer. I like basketball. I like uh, some martial arts to uh, watch MMA. Because uh, the roots of our uh, ancient uh, kind of uh, fighting, you know, pancreas, pagratio in Greek language. No. E ev everything is, uh, everything is free. We fight with everything. Biting, hitting. <laughs> Yeah. Serious. Pan pancratio. Pancrate. Pancratio. Okay. Pancratio. Do you like art? Do you like paintings? What's your, who's your, who are your favorite painters? As a personality or as a painter? <laughs> that's, that's as a deep. personality, Salvatore Dali. Yeah? yeah? What about Dali do you love most? His freedom of his mind, the freedom of his mind, no border on his mind. Hmm. No. And as a, as an artist, as an artist, the way that see the things that 
he show he talking about it there is a great uh, i think in youtube uh, about dali mm. uh, i don't remember the title now but anyway as a person yes dali and as an artist also it, you know it, it depends from uh, i like also uh, more modern bastia mm-hmm. adi warhol keith haring or more classical you know painters uh, toulouse lautrec manet <laughs> gustav klimt dimitri kasekinis the one and only hey not the one and only just a guy that uh, he likes to dig in anything in everything that's my point brother that's my point you're an inspiration man you know whenever i talk to you you know you're one of those guys man you're a proper epicurean you're a real epicurean because you're a very humble and honest and simple guy and simple i try i try to be i try i i don't like i uh, yeah, you're cocky in your own ways you, but it's important to be a bit cocky I and mean, uh, you know and that's what i like about you you know you know who you are but i think every time you know we have conversations and you're the type of guy um and uh, and and anyone who knows you who meets you you very you mean what you say you say what you mean uh people may or may not like it it doesn't always make you the best of friends but at least you're honest Definitely. and uh, and you know um you are you are a, 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 a yeah very well versed in what you what you're passionate about favorite uh, favorite um writers book or poetry writers book writers poetry and stuff like that yes poetry blake english hmm william blake why him particularly anarchist? yes So there is a movie of Jim Jarmusch whose name is uh, The Dead Man plays Johnny Depp and there is the skin into that movie which is an Indian and Johnny Depp I'm not saying the plot but I say that uh, in a moment said about William Blake poetry if I remember were good was someone born in sweet last night someone born in sweet delight someone born in endless night someone born in sweet delight it means that someone they born and eat in africa i need to take water after 50 miles with food and some others get born in a palace and have all in their yeah, food i understand mm-hmm. I understand. Uh writers also. Yes, Umberto Eco, very interesting. Uh, I lot uh, I read some books also about religions, you know, spiritual. Mm-hmm. I like very much philosophy, Greek philosophy and in general philosophy. Which one would be some of your recommendation for people? For recommendation, there's a nice philosophy book. For yeah, philosophy yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yes, I have a great one which you can read from early ages to very young. The world of wisdom from one uh, named the uh, Jostein Garder. It's a, yeah. I think it's a North philosopher, Scandinavian, don't remember exactly. Hmm. The world of wisdom. One I, uh, I don't have it here. Yes. It's a talking about philosophy from uh, Greek physicals through our ages. It passing everyone. Tell your hand like a story, you know. The plot is a, a one uh, a young girl has a secret conver- uh, email mailed with a guy with uh, in asking about everything, which is her uh, her father later nice and talking about philosophy from the the first steps till now. Interesting. So that's uh that, that that that's a book you recommend what would be what is your who is your favorite greek philosopher greek philosopher my favorite huh? if i might say it. it's very difficult to say it 
it's very very difficult or better who is your favorite greek thinker thinker or huh? thinker or philosopher either way or both yeah, there are too many pick no, yeah it's very very difficult just say you once just for the conversation is uh Pythagoras. Pythagoras. <laughs> yes. Also, Socrates. Hmm. Why? Uh, because it's more co close to me, you know, there are, there are teachings uh, about life, uh, about everything is more closer to me. You know, I told you before about Pythagoras with the music and sound. Uh, with the space and the uh, vibrations vibrations yes but uh, there are too many you know it depends about uh, what matters you know mm. some some philosophers in some other matters is more deeper you know so let me ask one one that uh, is probably more dear direct who is your favorite greek thinker when it comes to dealing with the difficult times of life when life gets difficult, when life gets challenging, when shit doesn't work the way you want, when you feel like everything is against you. You need to be a stoic. I mean, to be very simple and humble uh, without nothing. We need to believe that uh, uh, your life must be simple because it's nothing, uh, a few things matter. Too much reality into the life you know that you live we are we're just the passengers through the life we're born alone we die alone we have a just a we just a pass of our life we're traveling and uh, honestly personally if i cannot uh, collect some garbage of into our life and take it together not leaving the garbage in my way in my at the time what is i'm uh, alive into earth that's it metaphorically, you know what I mean. I'm trying to do the best I can as a passenger over this ground, Earth. Otherwise, we can go other, in other uh, atropies. <laughs> Spiritually, thinking about outside of uh, what happened after death, how small we are. But imagine, when I'm str I, have a, I have a nice uh, tip for, the, for, our, for all... The guy was watching. Was I, yes, uh, when I'm stressed for any kind of reason, I'm looking up and see the stars and I'm feeling how small I am in this, this um, amazing universe. Mm -hmm. universe. And I said, What are you talking about? It are you care about this or that? And you have nothing into this universe. So keep going, Dimitris. Do your best. But everyone yes. has methods, you know. Yeah. It's interesting, you know. Uh, it's humbling to know that there's much greater things than you. And in the end, a li someone's life is so fast from the moment you were born to the moment you die. And that depends on so many parameters you have no control upon. You know, it's like it's, you can die old or you can die young. Which one is best? Dying old and having nobody to know. help you, dying young, but you know, know. being remembered or being proud of. It's very weird, man. It's a very, you know, especially I'm asking, I've, I've, I've been asking myself that question huh, recently. I'm like, you know, of course, I hope to, to live as, as long as possible so I can do all the things that I, I feel like I, I need to do before I leave this, this realm. But to be honest with you, it's, 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 it's a deep question. It's a deep question. It's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, ca I cannot have an answer, but I can say that I, I want to die peaceful, young or the old. I could not agree more. Peaceful is the word. I think so. I think peaceful without is afraid the word. of death and without afraid to the others and uh, not hoping some other things, so, but not afraid and peaceful. Young or whatever is it's my time. You know. I like what you just said. Peaceful. That's the word. Yes. I know, brother, what you mean. 
So what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Um, a lot of things, man. You know, production-wise, you know, production-wise, there's a lot of things. I'm I'm, I'm working on music, yeah. and um, if I'm actually being honest, I don't know, man. Actually, I don't know. It's for the first time in a long time. I cannot tell you what's next. I don't know. I just know that it's a it's a very strange phase that we are in right now in this industry. In the at the moment, everything is very unstable, very uh, unreliable, um, and it's time for a change or many changes. What are they? You know, they're yet to be figured out. But um, whatever happens, it's going to be okay. You know. I think that firmly and and and, uh, and 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 sincerely, and you know, the music will continue to be produced and and released. But yeah, you know, we'll do our best to keep keep doing what we do, and then you know, see what's up. Who is that girl calling you? So, uh, you, who is that girl calling you, Dimitris? It's not someone calling me, but not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Go, on, go, on, go, on, go, on, go. On. Uh, I'm, I'm love you, you. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, family, that's what it is, you know. Deep, 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 deep. I'm so I'm so touched by this conversation with my brother Dimitris, man. Dimitris is such a dope human. man. And you know, somebody I met um Somebody I was blessed to meet through music, you know. This this is why I say like I owe so much to music. Music has allowed me to 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 meet so many great humans, you know, like yourself, and and to maintain this relationship through the years, through time, through ups and downs. And um, we give thanks, you know. We give thanks. We give thanks because Definitely in the we'll end, that's thanks. what remains, and you know, that's what is the most. And that that's matter. Amen. Amen. What's next for you? What's next for me? Uh, in life or uh, tonight? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know the kind of plan you have, Mister Mister. I may not. Maybe we don't want to know. <laughs> I, uh, someone told me. Someone told me what's for next for me. I tell you. Someone told me, stay humble, keep your ear open, and everything's come. AKA Armani Combo Nagimo. That's very true, Amen, my brother. And I and, and I still trying with that in that way. I don't know what future has for me, but I try to keep focus and do the best. Be a better person. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it is. I think you're right. Living the life with the best what we can is very is already difficult, you know. So that alone is work. We work uh, all the day just to enjoy some moments. We work all the on our life, all our life for moments. What you're saying is so powerful. A friend of mine texted me earlier, uh, sent me a voice note. He said, oh, you know, uh, I was asking, I was like, oh, how's your family? Everybody's cool, vacation is like, yeah, you know how we do, man. We work hard so that they can enjoy. And then we enjoy a little bit whenever we have time. And I could hear that he's proud of what he's doing, but I could hear that there's a sense of fatigue. You know, there's a, the, the, and, and, now, and, and, and this reminds me that for us as men, we, we have a lot of pressure, man, you know, to, to maintain, you know, lifestyle, quality, ta 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 ta. And, it's, and, and if you don't have the right person, the right partner with you, the right um, base, around you it can it can it can really turn bad you know you can lose your it's your... Hard. Uh, what you you were breaking up what did you say it's hard it's harder for you if you don't have all these things around you that we told before yeah sorry i didn't Dimitris, are you are you are you with somebody or are you single I'm a single man, of course. Single man. Single are you ready? Man. Are you are you are you looking actively for a new partner? <laughs> Not actively, but everybody should have a partner. I agree. 
if he if he wanted. If you don't, he can stay alone. Yeah. But you, you are somebody. I see, I see. I definitely see with a partner. I see definitely with somebody. See me. You, you saw me at the past with uh, some partners. Now, not only time. Now I'm a single. Okay, before I was with a partner. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> well, me, I'm a single man. I'm, I'm a I'm single. A single. single. I'm a single. But you know, um, single and virgin and virgin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wish. Uh, but uh, no, I'm staying. I'm single, man. You know, I think that. Um, Why is that? Um, uh, man, my focus, <laughs> my focus is. Uh, my focus is uh, well because of her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She needs a mother. <laughs> I know, right? No, I, I, uh, I, I have to say I'm focused so much on the business and making things happen. I got it. I know. It. I feel like I um I know I, I know quite a few great women and stuff and you know um, I, good souls, but I'm not yet feeling either they live far or either things are not aligned. Or, so I don't force. If it's meant to be with whoever it's meant to be, then it's gonna be. Otherwise, you know, we're here. I couldn't agree. I couldn't agree more. So that's that's why that's why we connect, my brother. That's why we connect. It is how it is, you know. Yes, exactly. If it's happen, it will happen. Well done. If it's not, okay. We're trying for the best. Well, one thing for sure, we will continue being who we are, and we will continue loving the music. And yeah, that will be, you know, I think music is one of the most loyal partner. You can think of arts in general is a loyal partner. Music shooting you in the heart, but didn't kill you. The only one with my free translation, Bob mm -hmm. Marley. <laughs> I agree. My brother, thank you for being on the show, man. It's my pleasure it's, and it's my honor, definitely. I was very happy to be with you, brother. Man. Uh, you, know, you know what? Um, I'm, you know, you again, you're one of those brothers I have to honor, man. I have to commend you and I have to, you know, salute you because, yeah, you are who you are and you've always been who you are. You've always been very fucking true. You never desisted. You always, you always you just say it as it is. And that's what I like, you know. Uh, it's not always pleasant. But Thank it's you, necessary, brother. you know. Of course. And uh, yeah, brother. Well, stay stay connected. I'm gonna, you know, bring the show to an end. Of course, um, of course. Uh, I'm gonna be posting your uh, a little bio of you in the description section of the video of the of the show, and I'll send I'll put as well the link to your Instagram for people to go follow you. Feel free to you know connect with my brother Dimitri Katsikinis. Uh, also, yes. if you're a venue and you got a club, whatnot, book him. He's a great art, great, great DJ, great selector, great artist, um, somebody that has experience. And, um, you know, yeah, you know, contact the brother. I know, and I if know. you're a lady and you're nice and you got great values and you, you, I told you, you enjoy, stop. hold on, stop. hold on, stop. Stop. hold on, stop. hold on. <laughs> and you like a man who has culture, but who is slightly, you know, in Portuguese, we call it saudade. He's, he has, a slight, touch, he's has a slight touch of melancholy in his heart. He, he's a melancholic, but a very happy and, and, and grateful man. Uh, very grateful man. I can, I can testify to that. Well, if you're looking for that kind of vibe, he's your brother right there. He's the, that's the guy, you know? Mr. Katsikiris. Thank you very hey, much. Le bon Bye, vivant. Le bon vivant. Jusqu'ici tout va bien. Jusqu'ici tout va bien. <laughs> You have a strong cinematic culture too, man. You're very, very good with this. Huh? Definitely, definitely. It's about it's a, with the music also. It's like a huge, a huge. I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, cinema and movies, <laughs> and director and uh, too many. I dig too deep into them, and I try to learn more. And I'm greedy. I love that learning. about you, brother. I love that about you, brother. God bless you. Continue to do uh, what you're doing and inspire those you touch, man. Brothers, stay connected. I'm going to bring the show to an end. Family, thank you very much for tuning in. As always, a blessing. As always, a blessing to, to be able to do the show. 
and um, and uh, really, 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 really uh, thankful for this opportunity to my brother Dimitri Katsikinis on the show. Um, I hope you enjoyed this conversation. Uh, make sure you also not forget to show some of our super chat, super stickers, or make donations via PayPal and so on and so forth. Uh, some of you have been very generous, um, but keep on doing so because at the end of the day, you know, um, your support is very, very much appreciated and necessary to, you know, keep this show making, uh, making the moves it's making. Of course, don't forget to press the like button, which is allowing the show to be, you know, ranked or at least um, recognized by the, uh, by the YouTube system and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, if you see anything that's worthy, feel free to repost it on your socials, you know, let people know about MQT, Monday Quality Talks. With yours truly, Body Safa. Have a beautiful week. God bless. Take care of yourselves. Don't do anything I wouldn't. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who happen to be in France, in the south of France, um, probably around, well, actually this Wednesday, um, feel free to um, come and join me. I'm going to be playing at this place called Le, uh, Cube, C-U-B, uh, in uh, Le Lavandou. All right, but that's for those of you who happen to be on Wednesday, the 19th, um, in the south of France. Otherwise, I'll see you, inshallah, next Monday. Blessings, family. Take care.